I bought a comic collection of 84 slabs. We're gonna go over all the books, talk about it as well as price. Woo, this, this was a big one. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this video over 80 slabs in this collection. Oh, we're going over all the books. First, I wanna talk about Whatnot. It is Indie Week right now on Whatnot. What does that mean? There are five different independent publishers dropping books this week. Also, Tyler Kirkham dropping a Berserker Battle Damage as well as Ninja Funk. Check it out. There's also four. Four Nintendo homage books dropping. I'll let you know what they are because I'm dropping them Tuesday night, $10 each on my channel, 8.30 uh, Eastern on Tuesday night. First one is Skull Kickers. This is a Final Fantasy homage by Davis Ryder, limited to 500. Next up, Kitsune. This is a Ninja Gaiden homage by Miguel Zapata. Darkland number one. This is a Contra homage by Ryan G. Brown. You know my boy, Ryan. We do stuff together all the time. And last but not least, we have Garbage Pail Kids Origins. This is a Little Samson homage by Bill Galvin. Limited to 500 trade and only 250 virgin. Here's the cool thing about this whole project is everything you just saw, all four of those books are $10 each. The virgins will be 14, which means if you have not purchased anything on Whatnot yet, there is a code in the description down below that gets you $10 off your first purchase. What does that mean? It means you're getting yourself a free book. I'm dropping them Tuesday night, 8.30 Eastern. With that, let's get into this collection. Okay, I don't remember how the seller got in touch with me. I don't know if it was through the website, through Instagram, email. I don't remember. But what I do know is he was down in, or up. He was up in Rhode Island. It was a three and a half hour trip to get up there. He sent me the list of his books. I knew exactly what I was walking into. And uh, they were good. I, I shouldn't, they, they weren't all good. You're gonna see. You know, there were some really great books and then there was some kind of okay slabs. But we're gonna go over all of them. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you every single book in this collection so you have an idea of, of the value. So with that, let's get into the car. Ooh, wait, let me let me say what what else. Uh, so, so I was promised chocolate chip cookies. Let me just say that. I was promised if I was able to make the trip up there, purchase this collection, there would be chocolate chip cookies waiting for me. They did not disappoint. Absolutely phenomenal. And what's great is when you deal with somebody who knows the hobby and knows how everything works, everything was so smooth. An absolute gentleman of a salesman, one of the nicest people I've ever bought from, and I've I've bought from a lot of nice people. Usually, usually I'll say it, um, but this guy was like ridiculously nice, totally amazing wife as well. Again, chocolate chip cookies in the collection, you can't beat it. So let's get in the car and let's head up to Rhode Island. All right, guys, we are on our way to Rhode Island, way up there. Quite a little trip for me. Um, and it's a good thing, you know, I shouldn't say it's a good thing. It's the it's the coldest day of the damn year right now. I'm glad I'm in a car because right now there are zero degrees outside. Nothing. Nada. We still have over two hours to go, but there are no degrees and we are driving. God, it's like, it's warm in here, but boy was it cold when I walked to my car. So we, we're still a few hours, a couple hours away. I know what's in this collection. Actually, deal's already done, but there might be a little special bonus for me when I get there. We'll find out. Okay, we are getting closer, look, to Rhode Island, Providence. We're getting closer. Uh, a whole bunch of slabs in this collection. Some, some good, some bad, some great, some awful. A little bit of everything. So, we are actually going to go through every single book in this collection. Okay. Uh, I did not record in the house, totally forgot, I should have, but three short boxes of slabs all picked up. Everything worked out well. We'll go through every book in the collection. Most importantly, there were chocolate chip cookies in the collection. Yes, that was part of the deal. Taking them home, very excited. They were very delicious. And I imagine my daughter's gonna love them as well as my wife. So it's not just not just comic books. So we have three boxes of slabs here. I pulled some out that we're gonna talk about in a second. So we're just gonna go through some of them. Look at this, is this a new stamp? That's direct. House of Mystery 175. 
Look at this from 1949. Blackhawk number 49. Nice 10 cent. This is, uh, yeah, nothing special. From Batman. Infinite Crisis number one. Secret Wars 2. Here's the first Yuriko. This is the first. She becomes Lady Deathstrike. The Closet number one in the 9 8. Here's this Kang book. Avengers number two. Things are going to get great here. Uh, Blackhawk 80. This is from 1954. A lot of stuff like this. Some, some early stuff. Oh, first Mobius, which is cool. This uh, may see a little bit of pop when Mobius 2 comes out. Hawkman. What number is this? Number one. Uh, it's a cool looking book. Secret Wars 10. Love this cover. This is an R96. ASM 1. This is the Hidden Gem variant. That's a great looking book right there. First Silver Sable and a 9.4. And another 9.4 here. This is just a, a miscellaneous early 90s Spidey. 9.4 ASM 500. And a 9.8371. Alright, let's go over here now. We got another Golden Age Beauty here. 1943. Catman number 18. Golden Age. How about another early, early, early book? 1950 here. Strange Adventures number 2. Ooh, what a cover, huh? Hulk 340 and a 9-2. We know this one. Here's some more early, early. Look, Tales of Suspense from 1962. Tales of Suspense 32. Really cool. The Man in the Beehive. Gotta love this. This is a Kirby and Ayers cover. Stan Lee, Ditko. They were all on there. House of Mystery 174. Strange Tales 68. Joe Sinnott. Kirby, Didco, Bashema, come on. Legends on these books. Crime Suspense Stories number three. We're going to talk about some of that a little bit later. Here we go. Haunt of Fear 18. Weird Science Fantasy. This is from 1955. Atomic Explosion panels in here. Last pre code issue. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, now we're modern here. Uh, the Undiscovered Country, one Ashcan, Question, 8.5 here. Guardians of the Galaxy, 9.6. Closet, number one. That's a gold foil. Ghost Rider, two, nine, four. First appearance of the new Blackout. I don't know. Captain America, 255 anniversary issue. Batman Family, 20. None of these are that spectacular. Agent of World, number one. It's cover B. Agent of World, number one. Cover C. Agent of World, Ashcan, uh, the Recount, that's a Scout Comics book, Recount, there's some more like whatever kind of books, Recount, We Live Volume 2, Number 1, that's just a cool foil, that's awesome. Alright, Box 3, and then we're going to get into some higher end stuff in this collection. Tales of Suspense 41, this is the third appearance of Iron Man in a 4.5. Tales of Suspense 51, first appearance of Scarecrow, Whew, we know him from DC. A little bit of a different character. Tales of Suspense 58, second appearance of Craven. This is in a 6-0. Nice book here. Let's, let's adjust here. Uh, ASM 252, The Black Suit. Journey into Mystery 121. Inhuman number one, second print. I have to look into this. I'm not sure about that book. Spawn 198, CBCS 98. Uh, Sergeant Fury 13. This is the first time Nick Fury and Captain America meet. That's in a 5-0. Nice mid-grade. Recount 198, Journey into Mystery 117, 65, Enchantress Appearance, uh, just an ASM in a 98, Sinister Six cover, ooh, first Omega Red in a 98, first Puma in a 98, that's a cool book. Secret Wars 2, uh, God Emperor Doom in a 98, right? We'll keep this one aside for a while. Tales of Suspense, uh, PGX, so we're, we'll probably crack this, <laughs> we'll probably crack this one out. Tales of Suspense 63. Ah, we might move it in a PGX. We Live Volume 2, number 1. Another foil here. X-Men 161 in a 9.8. Origin of Magneto. How many origins of Magneto are there? Here's a nice one. Miles Morales 13 in a 9.8. More Tales of Suspense. This is the new Iron Man armor. First Mr. Doll. Uh, Tales of Suspense 48 in a 4.5. First Rogue. First Madeline Pryor in a 9.4. Let's go. Let's get old here. 1956, Blackhawk 103. Boy, they really big code there. And Star Trek number one. All right, let's talk. Let's talk some bigger books now. 
All right, you saw a bunch of books. Some of them were really good and some of them were just okay. But so we're gonna go through a bunch of other ones here. I didn't take pictures to put on the screen. I'm just holding these books up. That would have taken me a week or two to edit this thing. And uh, I don't have time for that. I just don't have time to edit my own videos to that extent. And I don't wanna pay anybody because I don't know. I just like doing it myself. So here we go. First one we're gonna talk about here, Secret Wars number one in a 9.8. What's funny is the last whatnot uh, giveaway show, this was on the wheel. We gotta come up with a good name for you guys who, who show up to the giveaway shows. You know exactly what I'm talking about. We gotta come up with a good name of wheel. Wheel of slabs, I don't know, we'll find something. But anyway, this was the grand prize on the wheel. I, if I remember correctly, it's about a $400 value. So this is a really great book. And just, just out of sheer coincidence, one went out on Tuesday uh, and then I picked another one up the following Saturday. Just coincidence here. Next one is a book close to my heart because you know how I feel about Journey into Mystery. This is Journey into Mystery 84, second appearance of Thor, first Jane Foster in a 3.5, looking nice. It's a pricey book. Second Thor, first Jane Foster. Very pricey book. Next up, we're going pre-code horror and this is one of those classics. This is a crime suspense stories, 19 in a 4.5, absolute classic cover here. All you pre-code horror collectors, you know exactly what this is. Great, great book. I mean, that's, we're talking 1953. Old books. Uh, how about something you guys are used to seeing? Fantastic Four 49 in a 4.5. First full appearance of Galactus. Second Silver Surfer. Incredible key here. And like, that's this batch of stuff, guys. We're only talking about the high, higher end kind of stuff. Hopefully I didn't mess up the mic because I did this all over again. That was up here, how about Tales of Suspense 45, first Happy Hogan, first Pepper Potts in a 4.5, a lot of 4.5s in here. Just, I don't know, just coincidence. There's that. Let's get uh, a little modern, a lot of silver. Let's go modern here. Something is killing the children. Number one, this is the Virgin. Get this out of here. This is the first appearance of Erica Slaughter. Uh, is this the Jay Lee? Yeah, this is the Jay Lee cover. Sick in a 9.8. All right, we don't want that. Uh, let's go. We have silver. We have gold. Let's go silver here. Let's go. Let me see. Oh, we'll go modern. How about Secret Wars number eight in a 9.8? This is the origin of the black suit. Big time book here. We're going to talk Spidey. Amazing Spider-Man 300. First full Venom. Uh, I mean, we've talked about this book so much. <laughs> you guys should know what this book is. You, you, just, you should know by now, right? How about, how, hey, let's talk about this one. Ultimate Fallout 4, first appearance of Miles Morales in a 9.6. Never had this in a 9.8, but maybe someday. Ooh, one of my favorite Silver Age Spider-Man books. I talk about this. I always feel like this one is undervalued. And if you, you follow me a lot, you know I, I really love Silver Age keys with dual first appearances. Like that Happy Hogan Pepper Potts. You know how I feel about Final uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, Fantastic Four number six with Annihilus and Franklin Richards. Well, I talk about this Amazing Spider-Man book all the time. This is Amazing Spider-Man 31. This is the first Gwen Stacy and the first Harry Osborn. So this is a dual Silver Age key. Let's talk modern, let's talk signature, let's talk remark. Amazing Spider-Man 800. This is the Del Otto signed and sketched. This is witnessed even though it's CBCS in a 9.8. Woo, we're gonna end with a golden age book. Let's go Conan the Barbarian number one in a 7.5. First appearance of Conan, first appearance of King Cull. And cameo. That one I didn't know, but it is the first Conan, so that's important. I got some silver. I kind of want to talk about these last. All right, let's go back to Amazing Spider-Man here. This is Amazing Spider-Man 41, first Rhino, and another 4.5. It's 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 the grade of the night here. A uh, little DC. How about Showcase 37, first appearance of the Metal Men? This is an undervalued book. It is a big key. It is a 5.0 and it's from 1962. All right, we have just a small handful left. Fantastic Four, 52. First Black Panther in a 5.0. Nice, nice grade on this. Looks like it could be, nah, it's probably pressed. Uh, I'll probably look up a lot of the graders notes on here. 
Let's stick to the Silver Age. Captain America 100 and an 8.0. This is his first in title. It what goes Tales of Suspense all the way up to 99, and then boom, issue 100 is in Tales of Suspense. It's Captain America. All right, only a few more to talk about. Two silver, one golden, and a modern. First up is Incredible Hulk number six. Super crazy early Hulk book. This is the last one before it changes over, or I think it just ends here. It doesn't change over to anything. Uh, first appearance of the Teen Brigade and Metal Master. Hulk 1 through 6 are huge Silver Age books. I've never had a Hulk 1. I've had 2 through 6. Let's stick with Incredible Hulk. How about number 4? This is the origin of the Hulk retold. 3.5. Great grade. Great, great Silver Age book. All right, let's go to the Golden Age now. We're going to talk about a book from 1943. 1943. This is Superman. Superman 25 in a 6-0 white pages. I don't know if I would call this a key, but apparently Clark Kent joins the army, which isn't fair for the other team or the other army. Uh, 6.0 on a golden age, beautiful golden age book. I mean, 6-0 white pages. That's not easy to pull off. And it presents with this yellow cover. It presents gorgeous, absolutely stellar. And then here's the back. You, you got to love the the ads from the 40s here, guns and everything else. Cool. All right, last one. That's everything from the collection. And then I picked up one more, one more book for my personal collection. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. This is the IDW Loot Crate. This is the Loot Crate variant. It is a reprint of the first one. I'm probably probably keeping this for the PC just because it's something different. I do have a real Turtles number one, but it's a third print. So this is kind of cool. Um, and that, that was everything. That was every slab that you saw is from that collection. So now, now the price. What do you think? I mean, there's some big books here, guys. There are some big books here. What do you think this collection cost? What did I pay? I'm going to give you the five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. This cost $10,000 for this collection. Very, very, very expensive. Uh, but we have some very, very big books in here. This money is not coming back overnight, but it will. I think the 10,000 will come back quickly. I don't think the 10 to wherever is gonna come back super quickly. Um, so that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I do wanna say as well, don't forget for Indie Night on Whatnot, go bookmark it if you're watching this today, which is Monday. Bookmark the auction, it's Tuesday night, 8.30 Eastern. I Not only are all those books in the Buy It Now section, I have Darkwing Duck ratio variants up for auction. I have uh, some Something is Killing the Children in the Buy It Now. I have a whole box of independents, some spawns, uh, a lot of turtles, all kinds of great stuff, even Simpsons. There's a ton of different things in there. Rick and Morty, all kinds of independent titles. How about a Nintendo, a Cap Captain N? Number one is in there. So check that auction out on whatnot. And please use the description in the description down below. Use the code, get $10 off your first purchase. Get a free Nintendo homage cover. It, it, it'd be silly not to, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.